I'm Rebecca. I'm a Canadian living in London. I like to travel, eat, and take blurry videos while I do that. This week, I traveled to the small town of Cenicero in La Rioja with my friends. It's one of the most famous wine regions in the world, so I knew it was going to be great. But what I didn't expect was to find the best Airbnb host I've ever had. Are you ready for this? <laughs> no, you have to explain <laughs> where we are. <clears throat> Where are we? Where? We are in Cenicero. This is uh, La Rioja. And it is sunset and it is stunning. And we're about to start drinking and eating. Ah. <laughs> but you need to speak about um, um, pincho pote. And means that you order a wine from La Rioja, where we are, and you get a pincho for free. So excited to try. So many places used to do this, but now it's only small towns where you can get them for cheap. Which is a lovely thing. Perfect. Gracias. We got it! And lots of the wine here is made by cooperatives, you were saying? Oh yeah, this is like um, the whole uh, village work and the, these, co how do you say, co cooperatives? Yeah. Cooperative. And they do the wine all together. Are you ready for the pincha pote? I am ready. No, no. We were enjoying our pincha pote when the host Araya and her family came by specially to introduce themselves. The next thing you know, we're all eating and drinking together as if we've known each other for years. So now we have a group of friends. I'm, I'm loving the ride. <laughs> And super authentic to the north of Spain. Oh. This is tortilla, it looks different. Yeah, but it's it's full filled with uh, mayonnaise and uh, ensaladilla. Yeah, that's why it's like a I, Russian salad. Yeah, in Spanish we say ensaladilla is like potato salad with mayonnaise. And tuna. So it's not a healthy salad. No, no, it no, is not healthy. very healthy. <laughs> Oh, wow. That is like mayonnaise, but good mayonnaise. Ooh. If you don't like salad, but want something that has the word salad in it, eat that. I'm in love. As we're walking back, Alpha said this town is like the small towns you see in movies. It's it's just everyone knows each other. Everyone's coming up to each other in the street, drinking in lanes. And we're just sitting with this kind of big extended Spanish friend group. It feels like we've been adopted by this Spanish family and just crazy. Oh, you guys have to come here. You feel like you have your own Spanish family. Lucky enough to be staying in this beautiful apartment in the small town in Spain and what's so awesome about it is we're in the middle of the wine region but we're also in a town which means during the day you can go explore, see vineyards, kind of go around the entire region but at night you can still walk to amazing wine bars, get slightly, mildly to severely inebriated while staying safe and then just walk back to your apartment. Ah, Spain is the best. Okay, I'll show you the flat. It's clearly brand new and I have it all to myself. And the best part is, it's got two different balconies. Balcon. They deliver all the food each morning to your room in a basket. So we just had breakfast sitting on the balcony. Oh. Traditional Spanish breakfasts are so nice. Pan con tomate. I don't really love tomatoes, and even I love that.
We're finally at a vineyard. They've driven us to their own personal vineyard. And what is so cool about this is the same family has owned it for years and years. These vines are 90 years old. I literally didn't want to touch them. Having really old vines is so important because that's what really gives the quality of the grapes. You know, these young things, these young vines, they produce a lot, but it's not the quality that 90 years of just like, look at them. This is 90 years of perfection. These are like historical monuments, but in plants. These vineyards are done all by hand because look at the land, like it's all up and down. They can't bring machines, so they have to pick everything by hand. The mum of the family swore it was relaxing. The son wasn't so sure. Alba keeps sniffing the grape leaves for the photos, even though they don't have any scent, just any because it looks like a cool photo. She's not wrong, it looks pretty. Um, this is a bite uh, for the timing of the farmer that they start very early in the morning at 6 a.m. when there is not heat at all and it's fresh. So, although we haven't worked that hard, we deserve the food. <laughs> Look at this, this is so unique. Um, so, what is it? It's eggs on a uh, homemade tomato sauce. Oh my god. <laughs> so it's spicy as you, Marina. <laughs> I'm so excited. We just ate breakfast. It's so good. So, eggs, potatoes, tomatoes. Everything from this mother nature, from here. <laughs> Madrid when we Roberto. were here. Oh my God. Mm. Oh, the tomatoes are so nice. Bueno, el vino es garnacho, eh? Hemos escogido un garnacho. This is like a dream. Like they brought a table to the middle of the vineyard just for us with food and wine. What is my life? At 5 a.m. he woke up to make the sauce. Oh. <laughs> the wine is from their vineyards. The eggs are from their chickens. In English, it's se llama poached eggs. The winery owned by the family is called El Legado, or The Legacy. With a history going back seven generations, they have restored the winery and now use only the best grapes from their vineyards to make their own wines and offer personalized tastings and tours. Whoa, into the depths of the vineyard. It's around noon and it's my third separate time drinking wine today. Cheers. Next thing you need to keep it in the front and then breathe in and bubble it. Somehow. It's actually necessary. It was a goat, a real goat, like this. This is a real goat. Yeah, like, you are a big girl. Yeah. 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 You are a big guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She can manage. Okay, I'm gonna say my life. You're ready for a siesta. <laughs> Uh, and so this is a very uh, traditional Spanish dish um, with um, detail from La Rioja. So patatas with chorizo is just it's a chorizo is very common in Spain, but they cook it in a typical way from La Rioja with this uh, sauce traditional for here, which is uh, very tasty and nice. The great thing about the town is a 10 minutes drive and you've got amazing other little wine towns with the views of the mountains. Spain isn't ugly. I didn't even know to expect this city, but it's stunning. I hear music. This group 
of uh, people is called Tunos and they represent the band of a university. So probably they have been doing this for ages since they met at the university. There's so many small towns in this area and they all have their own cool thing and this one has an antique or flea market and music and vintage cars. So it's not just the wine. People prefer to grab a pincho and a drink, standing up, socializing, and enjoying the food. And with a final drink, our weekend is done. There are a lot of great places to stay in La Rioja, but Cenicero is special. The apartment and town are lovely, but it's the amazing host who made us feel like we were locals spending time with friends. And isn't that what everyone wants when you travel? Thank you so much for watching. I'll put a link to the accommodation in the description down below and uh, see you in the next video.